let's look at this equation. It's um, it's a very old problem. It's from a Chinese college entrance exam um, back from 1977. Uh, many people got this question wrong. So now let's look at how we can solve it. Right. So we're solving for x. We're solving for x. So let's um, let's move this part to the right hand side. So the square root of 4x plus 1 is going to equal to 2x subtractable. And now we can square both sides. So if we square this side, it's going to be 4x plus 1, right? And then this side is going to be 2x subtract 1 squared, right? And we can expand this side, and that's going to equal to 4x squared, right? Subtract 4x plus 1, right? And then 1 and 1 can cancel out, right? Uh, 4x squared, so if we move 4x over to right hand side then that's minus 8x right so 4x square subtract 8x is going to equal to 0 right and uh, we can cancel out the 4 change the 8 to 2 right so it's going to be x square subtract 2x is going to equal to 0 and then we can factor out x and x subtract 2 right and then it appears that we can. It appears that we have two solutions now, right? One is x equal to zero, and then the other one is x equal to two, right? But if you actually uh, give two solutions, then it's not the correct answer. It's um, it's actually the wrong answer, right? Why is that? Why is that, right? Because we have to take a look at this equation, right? And to find out what's going to be the condition for this equation to hold, right? So if you want to take a square root of something, so 4x plus 1, which is the value inside the square root, this has to be larger than or equal to 0, right? This is one of the conditions for this side to hold, right? Because you are putting something 4x plus 1 inside of the square root. So 4x plus 1 has to be larger than or equal to 0, right? And then the square root of a positive number or positive or positive or zero number right so it's gonna be what it's gonna be positive or zero right so 2x subtract 1 still has to be larger than or equal to zero right so we have these two conditions that it has to hold and this condition leads to x is larger than or equal to uh, minus one fourth right and then this condition leads to x uh, larger than or equal to uh, one half right so combine these two conditions together, right? So that's um, we we have x has to larger than or equal to one half, right? So so among these two solutions, which solution is actually larger than or equal to one half? The only the second solution is, right? X equals to zero doesn't satisfy this equation. So if you give x to zero as x equal to zero as one of the solutions, then that's the wrong answer. So the correct answer is just x equals to two. And that's the only solution.